All right, so from this video clip that you just watched, we learned a few things, right? One is we learned that a randomized control trial has several components. The test subjects must be randomly assigned to treatment conditions. The subject must ha um, have to be equally matched between treatment conditions, and we have to use a control condition. To make it even more sound, you can make both of the subjects and the researchers unaware of who is receiving treatment and who is the control group. That's called a double-blind study. In the clip, the statement is made that the plural of anecdote is not data. This is important to understand. An anecdote is simply a personal story or testimony. While it may be true, it is not scientific data. And just because 100 people give the same testimonial, it does not make it any more true. In order to be considered scientific data, you have to run a randomized controlled study. Oftentimes, these studies include placebos. Right? Now, placebo is a treatment that is actually not a treatment at all, but it, it's made to appear to look like a treatment. So like in a drug trial, in, I'm sorry, in a drug trial, uh, it would be like a sugar pill instead of an actual pill or a saline injection instead of a real injection with the, the medicine that's being tested. So it's designed to make the subject think that they are receiving the treatment without, without actually giving it to them. Um, by using a, plebo, a placebo, we can test for the effects of simply receiving something like, you know, the sugar-free lollipop from the video. So let's watch another video and then talk about this one.